Hey, yo. Welcome back, everybody. <clears throat> uh, we are in Cutlass Keys. We're going to do some Cutlass Keys stuff. We're just going to get the hell out of here and go do some questing. Oh, that's right. We're not checked in either. Hmm. Screw it. We're not going to check in. We ain't checking in, yo. Let's go turn this thing in down here. Snaggletooth. Snaggly boy. All right, let's head down here. Mr. Guan Yu, thank you for the 70 months, dudes. Damn. Guanski. No at the Gigati point, but I will. Thank you very much. Appreciate that, my friend. What's happening, man? Let's go kill this guy before people come on in here and try to kill him. There's somebody just standing there. Yoink. <clears throat> Thank you, Guan. Old Man Breezy, what's up, dude? How my hell are you, dude? Alright, we got it. So we're taking out each each area one by one, just doing the quests. Doing some crafting. Crafting looks pretty good. I've, I've kind of just done a little bit of everything. Jewel crafting, I haven't done, like, anything. I've been doing a little bit of everything, though. Breezy, I'm, I'm, I, I'm loving this game, yeah. It's been a ton of fun, dude. Five years. Yeah, that's a long time, man. Thank you, dude. Very long. I gotta defeat some lost relatives. Jocelyn's lost relatives. So they're all somewhere here. Kiddo's doing good. Doing pretty good, man. Hanging in there. Oh, it's just these guys. A little, a little, uh, a little, a little tired, a little exhausted. That's to be expected. Okay, teeth from chests in here. Let's let's check this out. Thirteen on the axe. <clears throat> Thirteen. Great axe axe against foes below fifty percent. Penetrate armor. 
three haste. Critical damage increased by 10%. Great axe attacks against foes below 30%. Critical 15% more often. How about just the, the keen edge? More keen edge. More criticals. There you go. You need some more chests. Yeah, go on. Yeah, it's it's a it's a learning experience for sure, man. It's been all right so far, though. Not too shabby. Go 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 go. This place is huge. Zellog, what's up, man? Oh wow! I gotta level up my uh, hatchet here. Yeah, things are going good, man. Seventy six. You're just doing some fishing, huh? That's like the that's like the one thing that I haven't really been doing. Twenty intelligence ring rub just found. Reduces max cooldowns. 4.5% more ice damage. Wow, dude. Nice ice gauntlet ring. Yeah, that's uh, that's going to fetch a pretty penny. What the fuck? Okie dokes. Three out of four. One more. <clears throat> I do like the fishing, though. It's it's something. <clears throat> it's something that I'll probably be doing more of because I can. Uh, when I'm up late at night with with Jack, I can just I can just hold I can just hold on to the kid and fish with one hand, which is really nice. What the fuck is going on? That one's done, Zoid. Now we head over to three, which is down yonder. Uh, we might as well go up, turn this in, just in case we have some more turn ins to do. Oh my god! There's a lot of dudes. I mean, that's pretty much the... I can't really do much else when I'm uh, taking care of Jack. If he's if he's fussing and I gotta hold him, like, the kid does not like to be put down. He does not like to be set down when he's fussing. So I gotta hold him. Gotta do stuff with one hand. Let's see if we got any follow-ups with this thing. Rapier of Forgotten Queens. Well, that's nice too. Yeah, Rub Rub knows where to get all these like super elite items. Okay. So the character transfer is happening soon, I guess. 
It's like, uh... It's like gonna happen. It's gonna happen real soon. So I guess my, my guilds... Is trying to figure out where we all want to meet at. Because we kind of were separated at the beginning during launch because of the queue times. So we should all be back together soon. And then we can start maybe taking taking over some areas of the map. We haven't really been doing that because... Uh, we've been separated. I'll take all this rawhide, dude. I did make my bags. I got armor smithing up to like 70. And uh, I, ma I made my bags. So I can hold a lot more. <laughs> so we got to discover what happened to Jocelyn. Gotta get some large sacks on you. Oh yeah. Carry all them goodies. I need to work on some engineering too. I mean, I, I'm I'm not yet up to star metal. I want to. I mean, we got a long way to go until we can get to a hundred mining. But so once I get to star metal, we'll be able to make some new tools. Jocelyn. <clears throat> just, just murdering shit, browser. I'm loving this setup though. <coughs> this, um, this build. It's been a ton of fun just running around solo. Keeping it equal with the levels. Here we go. Okay, discover what happened to Jocelyn. Jocelyn. I think they. I, I, I remember there's being something uh, maybe at the top of this thing over here. I don't know. I, I thought I remembered there's being something over here. Oh. A recovered Jocelyn's diary from Jocelyn Marshka. So we gotta like. Oh, that's right, dude. I remember this. I remember having to find trying to find Jocelyn and I, I could not find this person because this place is so fucking huge. It's so huge, dude. Let's see if we can find Jocelyn. Let's go see if maybe she's over here in this big this big building. This looks like the biggest building. I think that's the that's the best jumping off point. If you're looking for like an elite or like a named mob in an area, going to the biggest building you can find is a good spot to start. Ooh, 
Doesn't look like she's up there. It's a quagmire banshee. Half eaten scavenger. Not in there either. Not in there either. Jocelona. Is this even a house? Not there either. Do 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 do. You would think it'd be in this like big area over here. Look at all these guys. Look at all these freaking jerks. guys to slip. <laughs> Guess we can go check over here. You're doing far cry you're doing far cry fishing, dude. How's the how's the Far Cry fishing? I do love a good I do love a good fishing mini game in uh in a game. I do like that. I like the fishing a lot in, in Shenmue 3. <clears throat> it's not too bad. Jocelyn. We gotta find Jocelyn. I did not. I did not finish this one in the beta because I could not find this this person. I could not find jo Jocelyn. This place is just way too big. It's like finding a needle in a stack of needles that are covered in shit. Covered in doo doo. Super annoying. Indigo monk, what's up, man? <laughs> but I want to get all. I want to get all these these quests done. I, re I I really want to get all these sub quests done. That's kind of a, it's kind of my thing this time around with New World. Checking out all these sub quests. Trying to level my weapons and my trade skills kind of evenly. Playing the long game, you know. Taking it long and strong. Bound to get the friction on. Certainly paints a picture. Alright, so we'll check each house on the outskirts. That's what we're doing now, which we have to we check these already, but we're gonna check them again. Just to just make sure, maybe she would, maybe maybe Jocelyn was was dead, and we missed her. Is it here? Hopefully nobody gets caught up in my big train.
Come on, gentlemen. This way. Follow me to the promised land. Maybe this over here? It's your Quagmire Banshee there. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Lightning bolt, lightning bolt. I. Oh. Uh oh. I'm waterlogged. That is just a banshee. That ain't that ain't Jocelyn. Take a peek in here. That's not her either. Now we'll now we'll scoot on down this way. All right, now we got to search this area like from the outside in. Nothing in there. <clears throat> really banging the hell out of that drum. Excuse me, fella. I don't mean to train you here. Oh man, it's a lot of dudes. That might be Jocelyn. There's, there's a, this, is this a three-story? No, it's a two-story. I don't know what Jocelyn looks like. It's a quagmire dude, okay. train that guy down there. I think he got the brunt of the train. Okay. This quest is fucked. It is, it is so hard to find this this person, whatever the hell this person is. Uh, talk to okay. Uh, find Joss and recover the keepsake from her. Just says to recover Johnson's diary from Jocelyn Marsh job. Ja. <clears throat> so, so she's here somewhere. I'm not losing my mind. Okay, we gotta go more in on this. Well, we just checked that one there. Get over the... You're terrible at jumping, sir. Nothing in there. Oh, good. I'm stuck on a log. I'm stuck on a log, dude. Jocelyn? these though. <coughs> <coughs> 
God damn, dude. This is rough. Well, let's go directly to the marker. It might it might be different uh, this time around. I thought I thought I had checked directly underneath the marker, but before I did this quest and checking directly under the marker didn't do anything for me. So we'll see. Usually it's just in that general area. Hopefully she's right here. There is a little cabin here. Jocelyn? See a Jocelyn around here. Maybe that little camp over there or something. It says we're 37 meters away. Supposedly right here. So maybe, maybe uh, we just keep missing the spawn. Maybe she just keeps dying. Could wait here for a mo. And just see if she'll spawn here. Constitution. Uh, hatchet's almost good to go. What do we get next? 20% more damage. That's good. Immobilize the target. Yeah, we'll probably we'll probably go down that route there. Because there is a big chest here. Normally, there's not like a big chest without somebody that's kind of guarding. And there, and this this oil's gone, so I, I feel like somebody came here and killed whatever was whatever was sitting here. You could fish here. Oh, you can catch some doo doo fish in this doo doo swamp. The fishing, I'll tell you what, in, in the New World uh, universe, the fishing is great. I mean, you throw a line out and you always catch something. Really good fishing around these parts. Good lord, this thing is it's a, it's a big boy. It's a big chicken. I do have to catch 15 fish, so we might as well just fish and see if something spawns here. Vision for chickies. I wonder how long it would take to get to 200 fishing. Probably gets easier and easier though. As you level up your fishing, it's probably easier just to reel in without the, the line getting so so tense. Get some big ass mackerels around here. Do, 
That big chest makes me think that that's like that's kind of like a marker for this spawn point. So normally there's not a big chest just sitting there without something in front of it. Oh yeah, there you go. Jocelyn, my God. Oh, Marsha. <laughs> Whoa. The wrong thing on there. Okay, we got the diary. That's nice, dude. We actually got the goddamn thing. What is this? Those mountains. I'm gonna go over this way. We're gonna we're gonna finish up what we have over here first. So it is right, it's right underneath the marker. It might have been like that in the beta too, but maybe it, every time he was just down. For God's sakes. Oh, it's lots of water. Okay. Let's just go across this bridge over here. Actually, this looks like it might be shallow enough. Let's go across here and just hope we don't drown. Oh, it'll be fine. So level 30 gators around here. There's some hogs. I do need some hogs. <laughs> Tropical boar. Five seventy It's a leopard. <laughs> Damn, dude. Good, a good experience for skinning in uh, Cutlass. That delicious cat meat. Mm. One ten. What's that? Ooh, it's a fast travel spot. Got that. Oh, yeah, the bridge thing. I remember that. The bridge. Fast travel. Guess we'll go over here first. To the bridge. Oh, there's some weed over here, dog. Here's 
There's some weed over here, son. Not today, leopard. Food is food. <laughs> Didn't get my weave in up. Didn't get my weave. They said that the store was going to have... Oh. They said the store was going to have our, our uh, world transfer token. But I don't see... A world transfer token yet. So it must not be in the game yet. Seems to put it in there soon. Get off of that, you m piece of shit. So many Chivos. Started off with them Chivos. Oh, that's right, dude. We have to do the um, the arena. We had to do the proving grounds. Forgot about that. So after we do Cutlass Keys, I think we're going to make the long walk back up. And... Um, hit up uh, Weaver's Fen, which is my least favorite place <laughs> in the game. But it, it's got a lot of great quests in there. A lot of great stuff going on in Weaver's. Plus, we got to do our main quest there. Our follow-up on our main ski. It's PvE. It's just for a quest. It's just, yeah, it's just for a quest. Gators. There we go. That's what we we're waiting for right there. Thirteen. The target is below thirty percent health. Feral rush deals twenty percent more Dimaggios. The heck? There we go. That's being weird. I remember this quest was so broken for me in the beta. I couldn't I couldn't complete this quest uh, till like the next day for some reason. I was freaking out. These alligators weren't giving me any credit. I gotta go talk to this guy again. Gotta go talk to Huey Lewis in the news. Who 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 Jai? Sucks, dude. It's spilling all over the place. Need more pigs. Needs more hoof. God damn it. Come over here. There's a little something up here. Snag this. Earth crag. Head 
back to the, up here. This guy's got to be running all over the goddamn place. You turd. That's some serious rawhide, dude. You get some serious rawhide in, in Cutlass. Lots of it. <clears throat> I'm in uh, Covenant. I'm in Covenant because that's what's... In the beta, I just chose Covenant because I didn't see any other Covenant running around. It was just all purple. So I was like, I'll just be yellow because I haven't seen any yellow. And then through that decision, I found my future guild company. And with the full release, we just decided to go with the same thing. What the heck is... Oh, it's not changing. Change the weapon, dude. Streaked alligator, half-eaten scavenger. An NPC throws a Molotov cocktail at it. Let's go back and talk to this guy. People really love to be a uh, syndicate, don't they? They love them. <sighs> maybe they just maybe they just know something that I don't know. I I, I don't really see a difference besides uh, I guess besides what the armor looks like. And even with that, like end game, you're gonna be wearing legendary stuff that you found or legendary crafted armor, so. It's not really going to matter. Green? Green's popping off on your server? Oh, some weed, dog. Yeah, Wars are only 50v50, and they're super fun. Wars are a really good time. I haven't done a war with this with this build yet, though. I'm looking forward to it. I think I was I was selected for the war because well I knew Rub helped me get in as well but I was also one of the higher level people on the server just because it was beta and I was grinding so hard. That's it for that one, dude. Storage trading tax. Okay. Let's head down this way, huh? To the foe? Yeah, 
I think I was level 50. There was like a handful of 60s in there. And then a bunch of 30s and 40s. When I when I did the when I did a war. We gotta defeat corrupted gladiator. You're, you're a suck. Oh, okay. So this is this is a elite. So we'll see if if this person is gold. If it's gold, we're not gonna do it. But what the heck is this? Look at this star metal dude. Star metal just chilling. Sometimes these these elites are just are just silver. We could they would definitely do a silver. Arcane, you you bought it the other day. Nice, very nice. Yeah, it's good, man. It's a good time. Let's see how rough this elite is gonna be. Is the entrance to this cave, dude? Oh, <laughs> I just go all the way around. Started from the furthest point. I might have done this one before. I think I may have done this. What is this guy doing? <laughs> you know I don't do MMOs, and here you are. Oh, yeah. It's great for new players, man. It's super easy to understand, too. Very, very easy to understand. Oh, that's right. There's like a there's like a whole bunch of ads and stuff you gotta deal with in here. Make sure we kill this guy pronto. This shit's gonna like respawn. There we go. Hey, he blew me up. That's what I was saying when uh, I first started up on it, on this game in the beta. Like, it's super, super easy to understand. Like, it just clicks right away. Nothing's too hard to understand. Dude, the Ice Gauntlet is sick. When I, when I was using the Ice Gauntlet uh, on beta, I just, I killed everything before it even got to me. I would just use light armor. I never really had to worry about anything because I could just destroy shit before it even got to me as it was running towards me. It's really good. Uh, Dead by Daylight recently. No, no multiplayer games anymore, huh? What 
the fuck? Dude, I didn't do shit to you, man. I didn't do nothing to you. Oh, there's a boar here. Huh? These fucking guys. Collect fort building supplies. They always just jump right out of the way. Yeah, Dead by Daylight's a lot of fun. I've only put like a, maybe a hundred hours into it, if that. When it when it like first came out, that game blew up though, dude. Is this more stuff? More guys? So head over to one, I guess. <coughs> you watch a lot of play a decent amounts, so they give it a try. That game's pretty addicting too, man. You just want to keep doing one more match, one more match. been able to I mean obviously I've been so busy with the kid I haven't been able to play anything off stream maybe just a couple of magic fine runs here and there a couple of minutes on Diablo 2 whenever I get a chance but um, like three like two or three weeks ago though I did have a couple of hours where I started up on the like the the pixel remaster of, of Final Fantasy 4 which is one of my favorite Final Fantasies so I got that going, but it's probably going to take me a couple years to beat it <laughs> just because I've got I've got no time. No time to play games really besides on stream. That iron dude. Yeah, Final Fantasy VI is the one that I... Three, as I know it by. Because that's what it says on my Super Nintendo cartridge. That's the one that I grew up with. It's hard to beat the music. It's hard to beat just the music in that game. Let alone the story and the characters. The battle system. Everything is pretty much flawless. Splane, what's up, man? Is 
throwing damage between three and six? Uh, no. It's just it was released at six in uh, in Japan because we didn't get the ones that came before that until later. Four building plans. Let's get all these guys upstairs. Come on upstairs, boyos. What the fuck? chest guy. but I always recommend people if they've never played a Final Fantasy before I either recommend four or six four is a really great one if you want if, if you've never played Final Fantasy and you're interested in playing like a um, really easy to understand and very classic uh, you know pixel JRPG four is is amazing and it's not too hard. Six is harder than four. Is four the same as one? No. Four is just four. This guy doesn't need no help. This guy don't need no help. Oh my god. It's contested. Let's walk over to the deuce. Wow. We got a big chicken over there. We got a big corrupted chicken. God damn it. Nice swing, dummy. <clears throat> Final Fantasy 1 is a good fun. Yeah, I just went back and uh, played the... It was like six months ago. Six, seven months ago. I went back and played Final Fantasy 1 over again. But the PSP version... It's got a bit updated graphics and stuff. And the final dungeon in Final Fantasy 1 is such a pain in the ass, dude. It is such a pain in the ass. It's my least favorite dungeon of any Final Fantasy. That's a lot of time, yeah. Well, Final Fantasy 1 is really short. It is very, very short. But they just get longer and longer as, as the series goes on. That missed, Final Fantasy Mystic Quest will always be the, the first one for you. Really? That is a, that's a weird game, dude. I, I still have my copy of it on my shelf. It's fun. It's super, it's, it's super, super easy. So it's it's good for somebody that um, that doesn't want the difficulty of like a Final Fantasy game. <laughs> Yo, poacher. Fantasy four classic. Oh, 
Okay, there's a giant corrupted area over there. I gotta get stolen treasures. Hopefully that corrupted area is not gonna be a pain in my ass. Okay, this is a much bigger watery area than shows on the map. Oh, I guess we're okay. Taking water away. Ooh, some Azoth, do. Whiffed Get your hands off that bush. These guys are not the same dudes. These are not the same guys. Dibloons. Waterlogged spirits. Bush, the bush, the bush. Mm-hmm. There's a couple more over there. I got a thousand rawhide on me. Get off the damn tree! There it is. All right, so we'll just scoot right down here, huh? Oh, we got all the boars we need. This quest over here. Cutlass Keys is under attack. <clears throat> Spaghetti, what's up, man? How's New World going, dude? to 60. Nice, man. My, my quest is coming along. I've completely done... I've done 100% complete th uh, three or four areas now. Now I'm on Cutlass and I'll be going to Weaver's Fen next. And I got some decent... Uh, some decent trade skills. They're looking... They're looking okay. Beauty. 
got to gather some ancient rubble. Yeah, those little stones, like, on the little bridge thing or whatever. Or, like, the one of the ancient ruins. I know which one you're talking about. This fucking guy. Snap Sorrow Geist. Swoosh. Defeat ghosts of the crew. Sexton from a chest at the storm petrol. Storm petrol. What the fuck is that? That's the storm petrol. A box sitting next to a bunch of fucking wood. Okay. <clears throat> Covenant owns every single town on your server by tomorrow. Wow. Okay. Alas, I have found the storm petrol. It is by this pile of wood and some dog shit. Just sitting, it's sitting right here. Hark! open up that has off really had a jazz follow the trail of stolen treasure to fishbone village oh fishbone village lovely this time of year This place is a dump. Stolen doubloons. I know you stole those doubloons, you piece of shit. Thirty-five. I've unlocked a second house. Bam. Hi there. I don't even. I don't even have a. I don't even have a first house. I'm kind of saving my money for for uh, when I get lazy and I want to do um, trade skills, which is all the time. I'm lazy all the time. 
Or just giving it to my guilds. Or just giving all my money to my guild too. Once we, once we're all back together. Once we're all back together, I can just give my money to the guild so we can uh, get some, take over some stuff. That's gonna be like the main thing I think is just supplying the guild with funds. Gonna be dropping bombs on me now. What this? Would you give me that thing? I get, don't just get on the box. Okay. Stolen treasure. Sorry, we gotta go to two now. Yeah, you just right click. If you wanna check out your skin, just right click on your the piece of armor you're in question. The piece of armor in question. Or weapon. Shishu, what's up? How's D2 going, Shishu? You get some goodies? Get some of them good goods? I'm thinking about running more ancient tunnels. When I get a chance. I mean, I've... There are things that Mephisto can't drop, but Ancient Tunnels can drop everything. Where? Zeno, what's up, Jay? <clears throat> oh, a classic character, huh? From a chest. There we go. That one's done. Let's go do three here. <clears throat> Thank you for the 45 months, Zeno. Appreciate it, man. Thank you for sticking around. Thanks for hitting that button. Keeping that sub, dude. Really appreciate that. <clears throat> what uh what care what characters you made? You make a um a hammer a hammer doing? A hammer doing? Oh no, you didn't miss anything, Shishu. You're good, you're good, man. Search for Swampy's recipes. Search for the Sea Dog Brew. Squall. Oh, go on. Thank you, dude. There's <laughs> the old bitter squall. hurting on me <laughs> you need to glitch bail to rush but in classic you don't so the idea is rush then convert oh interesting very interesting dude eat some of them foods search for cutlass quiche Hell act for it one day, damn. 
damn. Disaster. Okay. This fucking guy. Ah, I think I see it. Solo with no rumors. There's nobody on Classic, huh? <clears throat> I didn't know about all that. I think it's over here somewhere. Is it up here? Good lord. There's a lot going on here. Meha. <laughs> Brian Brisket. <clears throat> no love for classic, huh? Shame. <laughs> Sailor's Delight. It's right here. Excuse me, sir. I gotta check out this recipe. I eat a good amount of celery. I do like celery. <clears throat> I don't like to eat really late at night, so for a snack, I'll do like some celery and some peanut butter. Big fan of that. Swampy's cookbook. This is the guy right here. Monk fruit. Cool. Just walk on through. Walk on home, boy. What are you saying? Are you talking to me? Grab this. What is this about? This looks kind of fun. Soul Spire, dude. Okay.
Oh, the soul modes, okay. Chew before you swallow? That is disgusting. <laughs> that sounds awful. A monk hot dog asked them to make you one with everything, huh? Order a monka hot dog. This is where just they just cry. They just cry into your dog. <laughs> they season it with tears. <clears throat> monka ass. Y'all ever cried on a hot dog? <laughs> it's exhilarating. Well, there's a new one up there, too. All right, so we're getting down to one. Pretty much finished up everything here, almost. <laughs> Reapers had a really long sleep. Nice. Hell yeah, dude. Dive on in. Shishu, uh, good. I've, I've been able to do like a, a couple of Mephisto runs. I play. I played for like an hour and a half uh, last night when I was up late with the with the kid. Uh, I haven't really found anything, so I'm thinking about just running back, going back to the ancient tunnels, maybe. maybe just back to the old ancient tunnels. See what I get there. That was my game, yeah. It was a spooky, a spooky kitty cat. Can I go across that water? I wonder. Is that going to be too deep for me? For my little legs? Yeah, you never know. I mean, it's still... Even if... I mean, obviously, I'm not, I haven't been getting anything, but even when I don't get anything, like, it's... It's fun. You know, I, I really enjoy doing Magic Find Runs in Diablo 2 and always have because of that feeling of, like... It might happen. This looks like it might be a little bit too deep. That looks a little too deep. We're gonna, we're gonna have to go around. I did find a, another a homunculus. You know, the necromancer offhand. That wasn't ethereal. So... I don't know if those things are worth anything. They're pretty good. They're probably not worth anything. Probably best in slot. I mean, they're just really, really good. You know? every Everything about those. It's got tons of resist. Three to all necro skills. You got your curses on there. I 
I think it's I think it randomly rolls the resistances, and I think the one I found is 39. So I don't know what the max can be. It might be 40. <clears throat> I don't know. Yeah, Shishu. This guy's fast. Lost. <clears throat> Res was 39, I believe it was, yeah, if I remember correctly. 40. Okay. I, I might I might be thinking of a different look at that guy. He's gold. I might be thinking of a different um stat. It was it was five in the morning, so <laughs> it was five in the morning and I had just gotten up with the kid. I mean that's that's probably correct. Thinking of a different stat. Got a lot of animals out here. <laughs> Jesus. Some wild ass animals out here, dude. Oh, the defense is the only variation. Okay. So it's probably one of those items that's like not worth a ton because there's not any kind of like really good variations to it. Can't let it get in a good. You know, nobody cares if you get a perfect. It's like percentage defense wise. Bada bing, bada boom. Oh shit! They want me to go all the way back there, dude. Oh, you're kidding me. You're kidding me, dude. You gotta be kidding me here. Might as well go see what this is over here. Oh, it's a long run. <clears throat> and there's just like not a ton of resources out here either. So the run is kind of kind of lame. Let me check it out. If this is if one of these are fast travels, the one in the middle is not going to be a fast travel. I don't know about that one. I'm going to go back and turn this in, dude. Shishu, it's all good, man. <laughs> Conversation is conversation, man. Really? Oh, 
just happen to be awake right now. God. No, no Good sleep. Evening. No sleep lately. <clears throat> Moonbeams, thank you for the 400 biddies. Good afternoon. Thank you very much. Appreciate that, man. That's very kind of you. Very kind indeed. We got a big, we got a big old juicy turn in happening here. I mean, look at this, this, um, this journal of mine is like so green. A lot of dirty, a lot of dirty, dirty, juicy turn ins. Oh, you've earned the new 1K bit badge. My God. My dear Lord. Picked up a couple of new stinkeronies for Halloween. Got a couple of little stinky boys. Uh, one potential really good spooky game. Should be a good holiday. Should be a good holiday, man. Halloween's always good. He saved every penny. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's what I was saying before when we were talking about that. Lower Cross is really, really good on, um, on single player because the maps aren't randomly generated, so you can hit the same chess. I remember doing that a lot on single player. You can just hit the same damn chess over and over and over again. Uh, but I don't know how many, I don't know how many cold resist dudes are out there for me to be, like, wandering around looking for chess. I don't know. Spooky first-person Pac-Man game. It, it was cool. <laughs> a a first-person Pac-Man game? That sounds freaking scary, dude. That sounds scary. That's true. That's true. But right now, I'm I'm like super hyper focused on getting my full Tal Rasha set, and then I'll probably move on to maybe trying to go for some more you know more runish over rune skis. I need a call to arms, and I need um, another spear monarch. I'm looking for another monarch. But I got that flail that you gave me, that five slot flail, which is very nice. So that 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 part's done. She's sure, yeah, others you can never break, yeah. Well I know that uh in act two I was breaking through most everybody's uh cold immunity. And my my blizzard does uh, a shitload of damage, so it actually did qu quite a bit of damage after you know once it was broken, or like uh, even even though they were broken and they still had cold you know resistance, it was doing a pretty good amount of damage. Mastery, yeah. Uh, long run to 
turn that trash in. I really wish there was a fast travel all the way down here. I have to run our ass all the way back. I didn't put my in at Cutlass Keys. Beer burp. Jesus. Jesus. Even Stevens. <laughs> yeah, the left click, just spamming left click on the hatched is uh, is the shit because it's so fast. Not so much the axe. Not so much the great axe. Great axe. Pretty much just want to use your skills. Maybe one or two swings, that's it. I guess we'll go up and just... See. Let's go see this, this, this new quest up here. While we do the big turn in. Hope this thing doesn't take me all the way to the south again. My god. <clears throat> Indeed, yeah. Uh I'll be doing I'll be running a Tesla din, so it's gonna be like zeal, conviction, charge. Um, gotta build I've got a build in mind. In mind. I get most of my damage from sacrifice for my zeal. Here's some hemp, yo. On Project D2, I had a Holy Bolt Paladin. That was that was actually really fun. I guess my, my build consists of like stacking attack rating charms, attack rating life charms. So I've been uh, keeping an eye out for some good attack rating charms for my little homie. Aladdin? Aladdin? <laughs> Aladdin? Some green stuff, yo. Some of this. Get my engineering up with this shit. Gear's gonna overlap. Yeah, but I think, uh... I think we'll be getting most of our gear from our solo our solo magic find runs. <laughs> you know. Unless we get super lucky. Two, four. 
God, this guy's got me running all over the place, dude. God damn. Mello, what's up, man? Should probably turn this in first. Well, I mean, the people, the, there is a, a lot of people grouping up on D2 uh, because there's just so many people playing it. You, you really have no issues finding people to group up with, but you're never going to get any loot. <laughs> so you should remember that. If you want loot, you got to go out, you got to go out by yourself. You'll never, you'll never get loot. It's gone before it hits the ground. That's why you need magic find uh, characters, so you can just do it yourself. All right, we'll turn in here. Yeah, personal loot stuff is pretty cool. D two is D two is most certainly the it's the wild west, man. It is the wild, wild way. Wiki, wiki, wild, wild. I don't light it. <clears throat> My covenant quests are like across this big fucking bridge. Do not feel like going all the way around for that. Keys are rushing or just sharing gear. Having a crew to roll with would that be sick, man? Yeah, that's the dream right there, dude. If they just had like a like a roll system, I mean, it doesn't have to be personal loot, but when something drops, if you, like the, the person who's running the game could turn on something that's like, when something drops, it can't be picked up until it's rolled on, and then that cert the person who wins it will be able to pick it up off the ground uh, in the next minute. If it doesn't pick it up in a minute, then you know, other people can pick it up. Something like that, you know. That'd be cool. Scuba Steve! Handy with Enigma and Stone of Jordans. Yeah. Whoa. Whoa. Ah, oh boy. Travel across the bridge and defeat dead drop pirate. Having a, a build identity crisis in this game, Jolly Green. What's what's the habs? What's your what's your you got you got a, a, an idea of what you want to do? Are you just kind of swapping? It's all right to swap weapons around and just see what you like. I mean, game's not going anywhere. You know, you can take your time. Don't be pressured. Pirate. 
Spear bow, running ice gauntlet musket. Yeah, ice gauntlet's awesome, dude. Ice gauntlet is bad to the bone. Sex and intelligence. <laughs> like, dude, yeah. Dex intelligence? Cool, man. Taking the easy way out. Oh my god, we gotta go talk to this guy again. I'm taking the easy way out and just going just straight up strength. And then just just kind of stacking a little bit of constitution through my gear for leveling, and then end game's gonna be just all strength for me. My hatchet and great axe. I'm taking the easy way out. Rapier musket, nice. With my my builds, uh, my stats heavy mixed with heavy armor, <clears throat> I haven't really had any trouble finishing like any quest. Unless it's like a gold elite, I can't solo a gold elite that's like five levels higher than me. But I have yet to uh, give this build a go on on uh, PvP. But we will do a bunch of PvP once my guild is all back together on the same server when we do these these character transfers. Oh my god. He's dead. This guy died. Another dude. Oh my god, dude. Well, why is there why is there so many guys? Why is there so many dudes? I'm trying to I'm trying to save this guy. Dude, they just keep coming. These guys just keep on coming. Oh god, I'm dead. tried to save that guy. I wonder if the one of this guy can save us. <laughs> I think that I think that guy was running guys over to me and he just, he was constantly training me. Oh, <laughs> we all died, dude. That is hilarious, man. This guy was like training the shit out of us, man. Uh, how did I get that much strength? Um, what the fuck? Oh, right, right, right. Uh, just from, uh, putting all my points into strength and then just, just getting my, I don't really have any good gear. I just have covenant gear. That's the second time I've died. That serves me right for trying to, <laughs> try to like help somebody out. You should really just not help anybody out. I've learned that the hard way now. Oh, our inventory is like so full too. It might actually be worth just. We're gonna do the main quest anyway, so we'll do this. The main quest give you you net like five hundred, six hundred uh, Azoth just from doing some main quest stuff. In an afternoon. Afternoon. Well, I hope that guy appreciates me trying to help him and his buddy was like, <laughs> just kept bringing more shit. What a dickwad. <laughs> Leather working accumulation plus 2% yield. On the, what the hell? Tanner shirt. Yeah, I've just been, I've just been scrapping everything. Like I I just I never think to sell stuff. Pretty much just gonna get with rub. Uh, once I get of level, 
and go out and hit all those legendary dropping things that he's always he's always like linking like level 55 level 60 legendary items <laughs> some really good shit i need him to show me the ways get out there and kill some kill some mini bosses making like tens of thousands of gold Yeah, because rub rub mo like a good handful of the of like the the core the core individuals that are in my company, they played, <clears throat> excuse me, they played every beta, every build of this game. They know where everything is. They know what everything drops. They know how to farm that money. I was talking to a, a Rub over uh, Discord before the full release, and he's like, yeah, if you want to go live staff, I can show you where this drops. He's linked, like, legendary staff. He's like, I got, like, a bunch of those during the beta. Wow. That was actually kind of nice. <laughs> That's actually kind of nice that we died so we could just fast travel back. I could have used my uh, my in and then just fast travel. It would have cost a lot more Azoth, though. Probably like 400. Yeah, I feel like nobody has a, nobody has any issues getting their steps in for the day uh, with this game, for sure. What is with all the bridge quests, dude? You piece of shit. Oh, this is where we died too. These pieces of crap. <clears throat> nice jump, dude. Nice jump, dummy. Ha. Whoa, I'm back up top. Super annoying. get some sort of sweet reward for this fucking quest chain, man. It's a huge quest chain. Got me running all over the place. I'm talking this piece of shit. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Ah. 
Suspense, what's up, man? How you doing, brother? Suspense, what'd you, what'd you, um... Up to 37 now, nice. Rub 56. Okay, hopefully this is the last little piece of shit that we have to do for this guy. <clears throat> took a night off. Yeah, I, uh... <clears throat> I took, uh, yesterday off. Sarah had to go get her, like, immunization or her, her vaccination shot. Had to take care of a bunch of stuff. The Jabberino, yeah. I got mine, like, four or five days ago. She got hers yesterday. I get my second one at the end of the month. I just want to go up to the town and turn all this shit in. Tired of running around the Cutlass Keys. <clears throat> Swamp area? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Fen... Fen... Balls? Fen dick? Fen Weaver's... Fen Weaver's dick? It's a terrible place. It's like my... It's like my least favorite place. <laughs> That's where I'm going next. <clears throat> That's where I'm going next after this. I just wanted to take care of this place before I got too overleveled for it. It does suck traversing, yeah. Luckily, I have I'm I'm the great axe dude now, so I have that charge that I can get across water quickly. The worst part is that it takes you to like these like spits that are at you know like the end of these spits, and then to get back you can't just cross over because the water's fucking way too deep. Also, if you fall off. Some of the, uh, like, the, the decks of the little encampments, you'll drop into, like, water that's, like, five times too deep for you. I have drowned that way. In that area. <clears throat> you got five on that island, dude? I've only found one. It must be, it must be level locked for me or something. I've only found one. <laughs> Thank God. That one's done. Now we can scoot. Now we can scoot back up. Too beefy. That's kind of like how the... Um, the bear, the elite bear is. I'm probably just gonna have to go back there when I'm like 55 and just solo it or something. Cause every time I'm up there, there's just, there's just nobody there. There's nobody in that area. The portal missions. Yeah, that was that was one of my fondest memories of the beta, running around with Rub and uh, Stasia, Senator Strategy, and you know my my company guys, our comp our company guys, and just closing down uh, portal after portal. Yeah, you have a chance. Uh, you have a chance to get legendary items out of those, out of those chests. It's not too shabby, and it's okay experience too. They're just fun.
the big ones are pretty fucking challenging. If you've got three or four people that are like of level, like if it's a level 45, like a big one, you get some level 45 to 50, three or four people, it's still sometimes just too hard. all the way back down there. Let's go turn this in. We could fast travel down. We empty out everything. Like 400 water in slot 6 and drink in every 10 seconds for health and downtime. So yeah. Hmm. We'll have to do that. Life key seven dot LKG. What the fuck is that? Guy just going on a stroll. He's just walking. Let's turn all this shit in. Oh, suspense. Okay. Gotcha. Pinocchio. And farming a rock. The wolf eats your ass out. <laughs> Some coarse leather, dude. I can have one of these. Rugged leather. Can make that for sure. Like 19 feathers here, too. Have I been making a little bit of money? Oh, yeah, I'm making some money. Covers. Armaments are over here. <clears throat> you bought a house in Brightwood. Nice, dude. Yeah, it's nice to have a like was like a three hour, three hour fast travel or something like that. It's nice to have another one. Let's go turn this in. Doing. of the suffering in this settlement is brought on by the oh yeah I also did my um, my next covenant quest crusade ugh gross much of the suffering in this settlement is brought on no, by no, the no, foolish no, 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 actions no. of those who yeah, we don't want that <laughs> no thank you I'm not gonna go all the way down there fuck that fuck that dude I am going to 
plop down here. I'm going to make this my inn. <clears throat> so we don't have to run up that hill anymore. Ah, you look like you could use a wrist. It's a good looking game, yeah. Not too shabby. Alright, so we need um 90 coarse leather, rugged leather. So Leather. Make twenty of these guys. There you go. Yeah, we got these two. Bunch of dookie. Turn this in. Oh, hey, you. Musket. Just gonna turn these in. And then drop all of our shit off. Let me probably just. Hey, yeah, I was under GP. Let me get step out. Step on out of here. Your new world, dude, is just is just gorgeous, huh? Three tadpoles. Long red hair, freckles, sun kissed. That does sound good. That does sound good. Ah, so it will bring us down here to there. We could probably just jump off the side, maybe. And scoot over. Okay. Let's drop our shit here. So fish. Yeah, I, I hopped on uh, it was the last night, I think, for a little bit and, and made my, my bags. So I got my my bigger bags. I got my armor smithing up to like 70 or something. Pop that away. House to house because it hurts being the factions getting rocked. It sh certainly does. <clears throat> the transfer thing, yeah. It certainly does. What are we? What are we looking at right now? Oh, we're not looking good. We are not looking good, dude. But uh, the did you hear about the 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 character transfer thing is like underway? Apparently, a, a token, a free character transfer token, is supposed to be showing up pretty soon, and then. We're able to uh, transfer. So we'll see. We'll see where the guild wants to go. We're going to wait. Just like I said the other day, we'll, we'll probably end up waiting a couple of days because you can't transfer to a full server. So we want to make sure that there's enough room for all of us to transfer. One, tr one free transfer for everybody, yeah. Right. Just ring all about strength and intelligence. That is dookie. Sounds like a little longer. Yeah. That'll be nice, dude. It'll be nice to have everybody back together the guild so that we can start running shit together and we can um, start pooling our resources and taking over some some areas 
Wolf Star, absolutely, dude. I'll, I'll let you know, man. For sure. Absolutely. Because right now, right now, since we're so split up, we're kind of just at a standstill. That's also another reason why I've just been doing quests and just trying to do these subquests while I can. Because I believe once once the once the guild is good to go, we're all together again. There's going to be a lot of uh, PvP stuff. A lot of running together, doing guild stuff. But right now, it's kind of uh, every man for himself. Yeah, definitely we'll start. Coming needs to be the same faction, yeah. So it's, it's Covenant. We're Covenant. <laughs> oh, that's right. Let's go ahead and start pinning these guys. We're the New World Mormons, yeah. I've always said there's 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 no other thing in the world that's more bloodthirsty, more dangerous, more evil. Somebody that you do something that you do not want to see on the battlefield, that you don't want to look directly in the eyes, is organized religion. So the covenant just seems the go-to because it's just so intimidating. You don't want to fuck around with religion. You don't want to fuck around. They'll get you. <clears throat> yeah, don't mind, don't mind. The <laughs> yeah. Also, what's also scary is uh, streamers that have like 60 million viewers and they all get on the same server. Um, and make like a hundred hundred companies. That's also a thing. That's also pretty scary. <laughs> what the hell was that? Covenant, yeah. The yellow. The yellow guys. Yellow. Zip, 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 zip. Out of my face. You can change traction for a hundred Azoth. Oh, um, but to change again, you have to wait 120 days. Oh, okay, so you can change right away. That's cool. I didn't know that. Dude, this is a big fucking bridge. Hey, don't jump on me. There's a long way. I do I have not I do not enjoy doing covenant missions in this area. It just it takes so long. They're either all they're either all the way across this bridge or they're all the way south, which takes an equal amount of time to get there. Easy as pie. We'll start right on, man. <clears throat> I'm get you in here. Ah! 
Bah. That is the wrong way, buddy. Who this? Ancient relics. Should we go down first? far down is this thing? Uh, it's pretty far down. <clears throat> Alright, well, start sounds good, man. See you soon, brother. swing dude it's hard to hit shit crawling on the ground taking your cheese bait person getting the killing below gets any experience actually well in wars you get the you get points i know you get points for doing damage uh but for as far as the kill goes your credit for the kill yeah that's why i really really like the ice gauntlet because you only have to tap them one time for to finish them off when they when they're incapacitated so i do that big storm see a big big pile of dead bodies or like incapacitated bodies do a storm and you just like tap them all see out here I don't think is there gonna be artifacts around the corner they got them hidden around the corners no they don't but there is a way up here from beneath okay that's good to know I thought we had to go all the way around and up let's go all the way to the tippy tips these, these archers, fuck, they're no joke, man. They hurt. Spawn again? It did. We'll respawn a Reno. Let's go kill this guy at the top. Bow. Take one of these guys. Investigate the very top. Defeat Taskmaster Hole. Christ on a crutch. Big swings.
Wow, look at all the veggies. There's this guy. This guy is really armored up, huh? This guy's got the mega armor. I have both fast travel locations unlocked. I have one right there. I got one right there. I haven't checked out these two things down here, though. But hopefully I'll be done with this place pretty soon. I don't think... All right, we could probably jump off of this, huh? Yeah, here. How far down are we talking here? That's pretty far down. Let's just let's give it a chance. Give it a go. Oh, okay. <clears throat> Southeast and into the sky. There's a there's a floating one. Huh? A floating thing. Yeah, this is southeast, dude. Hopefully I never have to go down there again. I re I just really don't like to do Covenant Quest here anyway. So we're going to be moving on to Weaver's Fen as, as, as soon as possible. Yeah. There's no floating fast travel place. Talk to Shilly. I guess we ought to go get some whiskers. <laughs> whiskers. They got to throw in some classic fetch quests, you know. It is an MMO, after all. Cross the Grand Bridge. Defeat the undead. Climb to the very top. There you shall find the Overlord. Defeat him if you can. Also, we're gonna need some whiskers from kitty cats. To find some time. Okay. Yeah, okay. Sure. That looks that looks deep. Giddy up, buddy. Island leopards.
You know, I was being chased by like a hundred leopards earlier. Where they at? Oh. There's a little guy over here. that not I guess we have to go further in there was no whiskers oh he dropped it in the ground this dude dropped it in the earth just the just the just the top was sticking up welcome to earth My dry cleaning. Hey. <clears throat> I would have ripped out these whiskers before if I would have known somebody wanted them. I already killed a shitload of these guys. Should really ask the townspeople before we leave. Like, does anybody want anything else? I don't want to fucking come back here and be like, I need some freaking wolf claws. Anything. Oval team? <laughs> Nothing. Twenty-three on the skinning, dude. Skinning is like definitely the easiest thing to get up for sure. Takes no time at all. It's gold, Jerry. It's gold. I was just thinking about Young Frankenstein the other day. Some over team. Dang it. Oh, mining? Yeah, dude, I, I found, like, I found, like, one of those big-ass uh, veins of, of gold. And it took, like, two minutes <laughs> to chip that piece of shit away, dude. It took forever. Hitlian hero. It's good to see you, man. It's gold, Jerry. It's gold. Dang it, this guy's out here killing leopards. <whistles> then you get 60 experience. Yeah, exactly. It takes a long time, man. I just need to get it up to 100. I think I'm at like 70 or something. Gotta get that shit to a hundo. A, co a crisp, cool hundy. So I can get my tools. Yeah, silver's nice. I, I definitely always grab silver when I see it. You can get gems from silver as well. Oh, Healing Nero, yeah, it's pretty good, right? Yeah. First couple seasons are uh, amazing. This new season is all right. It's getting really, really, it's getting really, really silly. It's kind of, it's going off the rails. Silly. But still good. Yeah, Hillian, if, if you if you haven't uh, seen the movie, the movie is 
No, that's where it all started. That that movie is fucking incredible. It's so good. It does not go for its weight in gold. In fact, it goes for nothing. Nobody in town wants to buy my gold. For fuck's sakes, I see some leopards over there. Get away from me. Creepy paper. <laughs> Creepy paper. The Baron. Yank. The only seen episode one of the show so far, yo. I mean, it's it's good. And Matt Berry is Matt Berry is amazing. Matt Berry stars in a show called The Toast of London as well, which is very very funny. If you if you enjoy dry dry British humor, he's very good. And of course, uh, he plays a really funny character in The Mighty Boosh as well. That's where I kind of discovered him. That's when I found out about that guy. Get this, let's get this area done with. <laughs> There's some weed over here, dog. Y'all got weed? get another copy of this for Sarah. <clears throat> Yo, butt! What's happening, dude? Thank you for the 64 months. Thank you very much, man. What's happening? What's happening, yo, butt? Got that weed. Got that weed, yo. Sarah really wants to play this game, yeah. She she claims that she has no time, which I agree. I mean, it, but I told her that if you want to play this game, I would watch the kid. Well, because I get to play it when I'm streaming, and then when I when I'm done streaming, you can just go do it. She's like, well, but I want to hang out with you when you're not streaming. It's like, why would you ever want to hang out with me? You know, we're going to be married for a very, very, very long time. You should probably, you should probably pace yourself. You know, I know me pretty well, and you should probably pace yourself with hanging out with me. <clears throat> I'm really enjoy, I really enjoy this game. It's a lot of fun, man. It's a super time. Centauri time. For a relaxing time. <clears throat> I mean, she'll probably go um, Ice Gauntlet. She's always an Ice Mage. You're always an Ice Mage, right? Or a Lightning Mage? She's Lightning, but I don't think there's Lightning in here. I think you can be a lightning girl. 
If you had Sarah on, on, on Steam, you'd donate it to her. Says Mr. Guan. <laughs> Very sweet. What's going on out there? How's he doing? He's being a nightmare. Oh, Jesus. Tell you what. Well, once I'm done here, you just hop on. You can hop on. I'll watch the kid. Ten o'clock. It's not gonna be ten o'clock when I get off here. <laughs> Well, I guess you could get up early. You just play in the morning, and I'll watch for the morning or something. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's that's kind of what you got to do with a kid. If you want to play games, you got to get no sleep. If you want to do anything for yourself, it's 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 when he's sleeping and when you're supposed to be sleeping. Suspense, you rascal. Did you did you do what I think you done did? Did you gift Sarah a new world? Oh, sh he gifted it to you. <laughs> she said thank you so much. That's awesome. That's awesome, man. Yeah, she's got to play. I can. She keeps saying that she has no time. She's got no time. It's like I can. I when I'm not streaming. I can make time for you to play games. Like, you're going to drive yourself fucking nuts if you don't take time for yourself. She needs to do it. This guy got another... Don't bow to me, bro. You got another fucking thing for me to do? Yeah! Jesus! What's wrong with you? Guan... Oh, Guan Yu! you! <laughs> Forty nine ninety nine. Here you go. Enough for the new world deluxe according to Steam. Whoa, Have dude. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, man. That is so kind of you guys. Man. I'll get her I'll get her loaded up. I'll get her loaded up onto this game, man. You guys are awesome. Because she's she's a she's a thank you so much, man. She's a huge ESO fan, and I've heard like ESO players say that this reminds uh, reminds them of it a little bit of uh, like ESO kind of. I think she'll really enjoy this game. She loves crafting. Ugh. She loves doing little quests. You know. Yeah, I mean, I just gotta break her away from like the the everyday routine. Like when Jack, when Jack is starting to fall asleep, if he's falling asleep on me, I will put him down like we have this like this little this little like fold out portable like bed thing we put on the couch for him. I'll put him down so he goes so so I can do my own thing. But Sarah will just sleep, let him sleep on her until he wakes up like two three hours later. Like she will not put that kid down. She needs she needs to, to to learn to have time for herself. I already ate the receipt. <laughs> if you like it as much as you say you like it. <laughs> Thank you, Guan. Appreciate that, man. Let my wife eat the fucking receipt. You had a big sloppy mud pie hanging off of your butt. That's okay. <laughs> Generates 9.7% more threat. What the hell? Who the hell would want that? On a rapier. It's a farmer's hat. And we're really filling her up. Thank you, dude. Appreciate that very much. Yeah. Every day she's been like, man, I wish I could play that game. 
Why not have common mana potions? Okay. Buckles. Or do lumber. I don't really want to do that. We could do gators. <clears throat> yeah, she's gonna love that. Now she has no excuse. No excuse. Wow. Shit's opening up now. Much of the suffering in this settlement is brought on by the foolish actions of those who settled here. One thing though is that we we can't play the game together, which is a shame. You know, I guess we I guess we will have to go down there this time. Okay. Yeah, we can't play the game together. So one person has to watch the kid. It seems like the kid knows, even when he's fast asleep, if you get too far mentally or physically from the child, he wakes up. If you get too far away from him. Rocksteady, what's up, man? Just when I thought it was close to be now, but it's good, though, because that means that uh, really Weaver's Fen is going to be super easy for me because I'll be probably 37 by the time I head out of here. And it was our. I went there when I was like 32 to do my covenant quest, and it was already pretty easy. So I can probably just hammer it out, you know. So where are we going now? I just gotta do a quick little travel down there. We're all emptied out. And so what I've been doing is once I finish everything in one area, right before moving to a new area, I'll try to use up as much as my crafting stuff. I'll go to each table, the Arcana table, the forge, everything, try to just make as much stuff as I can out of what I've accumulated and then move on to the next place, leaving behind what I didn't use for a later date. And it seems to be working out okay. I haven't really been focusing on trade skills and I've managed to get like, you know, a, a decent number on most. Fishing and jewel crafting I haven't really done, but... Just trying to just gather up everything. It's boob gravity. Yeah, he knows. He fucking knows. But I have played Diablo 2 with him on my chest as I'm completely reclined. With my arm stretched out. Leave the bush out of this, buddy. One twenty five skinning, dude. Small predators. You do the same with it, yeah, with the controller. Let's get your hands off that bush. <laughs> yeah. They just... Jack, he's just such he's such a snuggler, dude. He just wants to snuggle. That's all he wants. If he's fussing, right when you pick him up, he's good. He just doesn't he just doesn't want you to have he doesn't want you to be able to use both of your hands. guy and that's done your kid made you walk in circles boy that's like that's like taking it to a whole new level yeah Jack just wants to be like close to one of us 
Even if even if I lay him down and I'm right next to him and I'm like, you know, kind of like playing with him or whatever. No, it's not good enough. I need to be like, I need to, he needs to occupy one of my arms. Yeah, I mean, I put that's what I that's what I try to do. That's what I was telling Sarah. Sarah's like, well, what when am I ever gonna be able to play it? Like, I'm not gonna get any sleep. It's like, what do you think? What do you think? I, what do you think I do? I play the game when I can, and that means when I'm supposed to be sleeping. That's it. You know, if I want to play something on my own time, uh, you gotta sacrifice sleep for it. Indy 500 to the house. But he's still he's still a newborn, so he wakes up. You know, he wakes up every um, every couple of hours. So I'm up most of the night anyway. I'm up all day and most of the night. So just trying to squeeze it in, squeeze in uh, some games when I can. Damn it! This fucking guy. Zip bit it bit it bit bit bit. A Seattle routine. Yes. Oh, yeah. I've never been a guy that really gets a lot of sleep anyway. I mean, for one, it, it, it takes me an hour and a half, two hours for me to fall asleep most nights, unless I haven't gotten any sleep that whole week. And I'll fall asleep pretty quick. never been able to like fall asleep super fast. Sarah falls asleep instantly. She just sleep fucking instantly. She's falling asleep next to me during mid sentence when she was like talking to me. I thought she was joking around. Collect corrupt a collar from the hounds. Okay. He's really clingy to his, to, to his mom, yeah. On the barrel. There you go. Roll out the barrel. What a dog's at. Where my dog's at? Oh, great. Yeah. Just shoot the goddamn dog. I'm serious, man. Like, r right after she finished her sentence, it was like the last split second of her sentence. She was already doing that, like, sound. <laughs> like, the deep sleep sound. Like, what the hell? How the fuck do you fall asleep so quick? Okay, well, I guess we can go get that fast travel spot that's down here, too, now. Since we're going to be working our way all the way down. To the way, way down. 
There's a fucking lot of people around here. <clears throat> Got lucky in other spots. She never fussed over binkies, never used them. Yeah, we haven't used, uh, um, they call them dummies here. I've always called them a pacifier. Trained her, sleep trained her good too. At about three months old, she was sleeping about six hours, then feed real quick, sleep for another six hours. Oh yeah, that's the dream, dude. That is the dream. That's gonna be sweet. When Jack was born, he had jaundice, so he slept like all day. And when he was awake, he was, he was like so dazed and confused. He was like, wasn't even there. I remember when he had jaundice. That was awesome. <laughs> That was so cool. Remember when you were like super yellow and you had jaundice? Like that was fucking awesome, dude. It was so cool. Are they that too? Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's just a yeah, it's suspense and yo, but it's it's super 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 common. I had it when I was when I was a baby. Uh, my entire family, we all had it. It's very common, yeah. Have to do the sun blanket thing. Yeah, we had to spend an extra night in the hospital and do the the Billy Billy blanket or Billow blanket or whatever it's called. He had to stay for over a week. They wanted us to stay, but, but Sarah and I were ready to go. They are like, no, we're going to go home and see how it works out. And then the uh, midwife came uh, two days after to check on Jack, and all the jaundice was gone. Because we cheated. We had a cheat code activated. We game genie that shit. Called in her, her best friend Cassie, and she gave us uh, a bunch of her breast milk. And we just blasted him with, with breast milk. And it, and it cured him up. Aquino! Thank you for the 81 months. Thank you very much. Thank you for that support, my friend. That is a long time, dude. That is long and strong. Yeah, Sarah wasn't producing enough breast milk, so we just brought in Cassie and she drained her her titties for us. It was awesome. I think breast milk does it it, it has some crazy curative properties, man. Because Jack will sometimes when when his nails get long and they haven't been cut, he'll scratch his face. And he, and it'll be it'll be healed like a few hours later. Rising tempers rumor. Bad luck. Oh, we already saw most of these things. Yeah, crazy. Rising Timbers rumor unbound at last. Bob, Bob, that is the wrong way, dude. Where are you going? I did try, yeah. I tried it. I tried it um, pretty early on. It didn't taste like anything to me. But I did. I didn't. I didn't drink like eight ounces of it or anything. <laughs> I just took a sip. I'll tell you what's disgusting is formula, dude. That shit stinks. It's so stinky. Straight from the source. Go down here, check this out. Eat 
<clears throat> formula is so smelly. Doko, 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 doko. Search and chess. Oh, there's like a bunch of... A bunch of bad guys. That lag. <clears throat> it is expensive as hell, too. Yeah. Uh, we we have to buy formula because Jack uh, eats twice as much as a kid his uh, his age. He's in the 95th percentile. He's bigger. He's taller than all his... Longer than all his kids. Wow, look at this guy. Longer than all the kids, and he's heavier as well. He's just fucking huge. Truth serum. Yeah, and he's got he's got some massive feet and hands too. This is the first, that was one of the first things that the midwife said when he was born. I was like, dude, this kid's got some fucking huge feet. Just like his pep. Just like his pep pep. It's poo pop. That's that that's a, that's what I told Sarah. I was like, dude, when he gets older, he's gonna eat us out of house and home. Everything's gonna be gone. Hey, Jack, you think old dad can get the crust off your pizza? Leave me alone, dad. Hardly eating anything today. Go. All right, all right. Well, that's okay. These alligators aren't the same ones. Just too foggy out here. Looking for a fast travel spot. It must be it must be over there. There's probably there's probably not one over here. This is southwest. I don't think there's any any down here. doing dude hey stand up <laughs> that was that is that c okay it's c try to put my weapon away hit c <clears throat> you see so much as a kid sit down and just smash box cereal i do remember when i could eat food and not gain 40 pounds it was the dream dude it was the fucking dream <laughs> it was amazing Now if I even see a KFC commercial, my my titty pops out of my shirt. Excuse me. Is that a gold, bro? That's a gold, bro. He's going to chase us for a long time. I feel like them goldies chase you for a long time. Goldies, my goldies. Collect water spirit essence from waterlogged spirits. Those guys. But going. Could 
Chris woke up now he's standing in front of the TV watching my cam. <laughs> Arthur! Help, I'm inside your TV! No, I'm kidding. I'm, I'm okay. I'm doing okay. <laughs> I'm doing all right. <laughs> he laughed. Good. <clears throat> Thanks if you wave, huh? <clears throat> yeah, I can't wait till Jack is is more than just a potato. He's a bit. He's a bit of a potato still right now. Kind of just looks off in the distance like he's seeing, like, spirits from the other side, you know? <clears throat> Sorry, player. Yeah, that's... Uh, Jack's starting to... He's starting to coo. Like, make little baby noises. Like, different noises than his normal noises. And he's also starting to giggle a little bit. Just do a little giggles. Just really cool. Need more spirits, homie. Like we're not getting very many spirits because of this shit that's right here. This corrupted bull ish. It does suspense, yeah. Like he and he recognizes us now. He reacts to touch. So when I go to pick him up, he'll like look at me. But before you just like ah, like look like looking at nothing. Yeah. <clears throat> fucking pigs. Hey pig. Yeah, you. Hey pig, 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 pig. For God's sakes, pig, retreat, retreat. Ghost. Suspense. I, 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 I know what you're talking about, man. Absolutely. I know exactly what you're saying, dog. You don't know until it's happened to you. Like, it's quite an experience. Fucking gators and shit. Just, just... Okay. Now we gotta travel down here and collect some sort of thing. The lightning field to collect lightning spirit essence. Sure. <laughs> From Thunderstorm Phantoms. You there? Oh, these little guys. These little darlings. Okay, these are you guys are they're not gold. They're the color gold. They're not gold. Tendril spines. Shuao that cross weave. Mm. 
Mm-hmm. Two more. Oh, yeah. I've got lots of tendril spine now. You there. Three. I got one more, dude. Two thousand damage with that execute. That was pretty good. Okay, so now we can just recall up here. I don't want to run that whole way. Let's go see what we got over here real quick. Guide roof. Ingots. 30 ingots. I do have those already. No nightcrawler baits. Energizing rations. Can I make some common mana potions? Maybe. Just grabbed everything. Tried to salvage and it grabbed everything. Salvage, dude. What is going on? Dude, I, I have common po common mana potions, but it, it didn't let me turn them in. It's weird. Should we just... Is there a transfer... Transfer all? No. Take all is E. Okay, so that's what it is. So I try, I try to do... Uh, I t held, hold down S and then E. <laughs> and it, S click and then E. And then I just did it in the wrong order, I guess. So it grabbed fucking everything. What a pain in the dick. <clears throat> oh, really? So you gotta, ha you gotta have them on you? That's so weird. I could have sworn that I was completing quests with them in my... bank. Maybe I wasn't. <laughs> Energizers. Bing. Okay, so we're 62 armoring. I just had to get that up from my, my bags. There we go. Guys, beep, 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 beep. Fifteen. Pop 
that in there. Okay. Jesus. Just opened up a bunch more quests here too. They became lost. Swash Bucklin. Pull patch. Oh, it is. No doubt about it. Place lightning bombs at the fort. Lightning bombs. I feel like you just made that up. The Lord of Lumberjacks. Oh my god. All the way down again. I'm gonna be glad to get the fuck out of here, dude. I'm gonna be so glad to get out of here. Something about this place. Walking across that big ass bridge going down to the southwest. It's all bad. Much of the suffering in this settlement is brought on by the foolish actions of those who settled here. Oh good, okay, so nothing across the bridge this time. That's gonna that's gonna be nice. That's gonna be nice, dude. I think they're gonna do mounts at some point. You know, I don't know. Because right now it's kind of, travel is kind of uh, balanced around um, weight weight allowance, your weight limit, uh, Azoth usage. You know, like it's they've kind of tailored the tailored it that way. You know what I mean? Like I'm not sure if they're gonna be adding that shit in or not. It would, uh, it would be nice because, you know, they're going to be adding in this entire area at some point, which is going to be a, a large area from what I've, from what I understand, from what I've seen. So we'll see. Travel to Unbound Island. Rumors about the coin. They're true. I wonder if I wonder if they, they want us to kill that big beefy monster down there. We do have a whole bunch of uh, potion making stuff at this town, so that's going to be nice. Before we leave here, we'll combine our resources and see how, mu how many points we can get into our potion making as well as maybe some engineering <laughs> Sarah better be out there downloading this game right now actually no don't do that I'll drop frames <laughs> our internet's not good enough for that don't download it not yet. Ah! That nineteen ninety nine Australian internet. If somebody's like looking up a recipe for for a baked mac and cheese, I'll shut my stream down. Too much too much data being used. Well, we could go to, uh, apparently there's one down here. Uh, there is a little fast travel place. I'm guessing it's going to be right here. Um, and then we can just, just kind of pop back over there. This is elite, which I'm thinking that it's going to be that big, big, big beefy bastard we saw down there, which we're not going to be able to kill. Cause he's gold. I think. Yeah, it's. I mean, it's not all. It's not like that everywhere in Australia. Apparently, apparently, you can get some decent. Even around this area, you can get some decent stuff. But we're in like a really bad spot where we live. We can't. We can't get any good internet here. So eventually, Sarah and I are going to be looking for a new house in the in the next five years, and we're going to rent this one out. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go in there. I'm going to bring I'm going to bring like 5 or 6 tablets with me and just start downloading as much stuff as I can and see what happens. 
in that area. <laughs> just see, just, just see if that was if that would even be possible. I gotta know. I, I'm not. I can't take. I can't take a real estate agent's word for it that that we have good internet. They're like, oh yeah, there's really good internet in this area. Let me ask you something, Carol. What's good internet to you? As someone who's born and raised in Australia, let me let, tell me your idea of good internet. I just want to. I just want to get. I want to put my feelers. Out. I want to see what what we're working with here. Did you get this AOL? It comes with an AOL disc. She got fiber, yeah. That's awesome, man. Yeah, the government completely fucked over uh, this country for internet years ago. So we've got uh, we've got a long way to go. Basically, just put us in the stone age of internet for a long time. There's a slogan for one of for one of the uh, ISPs uh, here in South Australia. There's a slogan that's it says, "You don't always need good Wi-Fi, but when you do, it's there or something like that." Oh, you you don't you 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 don't always need good Wi-Fi until you do is what the is what the slogan is like. You don't always need good Wi-Fi. What fucking year do you live in that you don't always need good internet? This is the most appalling, offensive slogan I've ever heard. Because <clears throat> I'm a nerd. <sighs> you don't always need good internet. You don't, really? Are you a time traveler? Did you just, did you just, just pop in from 1981? Where the fuck have you been? Everybody needs internet. Even babies need internet. When they're doing their screen time, watching their shows. Even babies need a good internet, dude. Anyway. <laughs> oh, there's the uh, there's the fast travel thing over there. I am appalled. Disgusted. Goo, goo, goo. Try with a pull patch cover to raid the dead drop pirates. Yeah, South Korea is just like zooming over there, dude. Ball. You gonna throw shit at me, man? You better throw some shit at me, dog. Wow, this guy. Oh, these guys are tough. <laughs> some food. I'm gonna go ahead and bring this guy out here. Don't get another one. Jesus. Oh, there's another one. There is another one. Okay. Thank you. Okay, still go ahead and step forward, bud. Thank you. <clears throat> Let's go take step forward. Rocking a bow, dude. I don't really see too many people with bows.
Well, it's a good thing we went here first, dude. It's gonna make uh, our next spot a lot easier. Fen Weaver's balls or whatever. Well, we got to get the bristles from the boars. Okay. Get them bristles, man. <clears throat> so I must not have gotten all the, the subquests done here. I thought I had done most of them uh, in the beta. I definitely did not go this far into the chains here. Which is cool because this is all like new new quests for me. This pig just rolling around. Nikasola, Nikasola, thank you very much for the uh, for the for the raid. Appreciate that. What's happening? Thank you for that support. It's a it's a Nika B raids. Nika, Nika, thank you so much. Appreciate that. <clears throat> Are you playing some New World over there? What are we doing? We're slowly making our way through all these subquests. It's been a hell of a journey. Hell of a journey. Uh, playing some New World, I've been addicted to it. Yeah, it's it's quite addicting, isn't it? It's pretty damn good. Oh my god! This guy is. Everybody here is gold. Why? Why is there? Why is everybody gold? Uh oh. <laughs> the same level. Nice. Yeah, yeah. I, I feel like this. Uh, I really rushed it in the beta because you know there's a time we had a time limit in the beta, but um, I've just been taking my time this this time around. I feel like it's it's best enjoyed for me that way. I've been having a great time, just really taking my time. Four street alligators. Okay. You whip your tail back and forth, buddy. <clears throat> what uh, what what weapons are you running with? Kind of build you going for a furniture maker nice that's interesting man that's awesome yeah i haven't uh, i haven't really i haven't made any furniture and one furnishing i've just been kind of dabbling in a little bit of everything just trying to make my own bags and make my own tools and stuff like that one thing that i didn't do in the beta I got to level 50 in the beta, but one thing I didn't really do was was finish every sub-quest chain. So we're... I'm kind of just working on that. Just doing a bunch of quest chains. Fire Staff and Rapier. Nice. I was Ice Gauntlet and Fire Staff in the beta. I'm uh, Great Axe and Hatchet full release here. Everybody loves a good piece of furniture. There's just like a couple of gold boys just hanging out here, huh? Interesting. Just a couple of goldies. Hit me. He hit me!
Ugh. With that execute, Buster. Buster. All right, we got that one. That one's done. Still need to get some boars through here. We got to come back up anyway, it looks like, so. Head down this way. There's our fast travel spot right there. Let's go snag that up, man. It's going to be really handy. <clears throat> Lurk? Yeah, no worries, no worries. Indeed! Thank you very much for that love and support. Glad you're enjoying the game. Hope to see you soon. Pirate Island. You're probably out here downloading cars all the time. Probably downloading entire cars. All right, we got the thing. Let's go down to two. You wouldn't download a freaking car, would you? Why you wouldn't do that. <laughs> We're on Pirate Island, okay? We got great Wi-Fi here. We're downloading cars. Surprise! Oh. <laughs> Whip it there. Oh. Tookie, tookie. Their pirate ships are just parked in the bay here. With the, the, instead of a skull and crossbone flag, it's just the Napster the symbol. The Napster kitty cat. They're pirates. Are we taking that car? Hey. Usually. <laughs> a 480p image of Lars Ulrich. Yeah. <laughs> He's crossing his arms like, Meh. That guy is mad. <laughs> Why aren't people buying my CD? This whole download and streaming music thing's never going to take off. CDs are forever. Are they, Lars? Funny how CDs have become just a novelty now. Like I've got a whole shelf full of all my, all my CDs that I bought when I was, you know, growing up. Still have all my Muzak CDs. It's just a collector's thing now. And even then, they're not worth anything. It's just some fun to fun to collect. Basically, just nostalgia for me. Just memories.
<clears throat> Ultimate Frisbee! You still have cassettes, yeah? I wish I still had my old cassettes. Uh, my first bit of music that I owned was uh, the Downward Spiral Nine Inch Nails cassette that my sister gave me. And then after that, she gave me the Korn self title album on cassette. Those are like my first little bits of music that I owned. I have uh, uh, Coin Cambria, a Coin Cambria album on cassette that I got from. I got some VIP tickets to one of their shows, and that came with the VIP tickets. It's like a very limited edition cassette. I haven't opened it. Uh, good Apollo. Because I already have the album, obviously. I don't need to open it up. That is not the button I want. Ugh. Second Stage Turbine Blade is my favorite album of all time. It's got my uh, favorite song of all time on it, Delirium Trigger. I've got the Second Stage Turbine Blade Dragonfly tattooed on the back of my left arm. I do like that album. <laughs> I guess you could say I like it a lot. Oh, he mad. He's angry about that. Two more. Uh, yeah, so, I mean, if you think it's going to be worth some money, most things aren't worth money. Uh, it's got to be, like, the things that are worth money are, like, really rare, like, rare items that synergize with this, the stat of, of the type of weapon or whatever, or the heavy armor with strength and constitution. But you don't really have to worry about that for a while. It's, it's mostly... You're mostly just going to be salvaging. That's that's what I just salvage, really. area here we could we do need to go take a quick little peek over there peekaroo let's go grab these last couple of boars Whoosh. yeah we're, we're like pretty much dead even dude i, I use my axe and hatchet like pretty pretty evenly Almost 14 on each. Bristles. Was this guy looking for boars too? I think he is.
I had a NoFX tape as well. I had, I had a handful of tapes. I'd record a lot of stuff off the radio on tapes as well. Alright, looks like this guy is done with the boar, so we just gotta wait for respawns here. Top 20 MTV countdown off the TV. <laughs> yeah. Nice. down here. These two have been killed. I think only four spawn here. I think there's two over here and two back here. These are the ones we have to kill. These guys are coming back. That's a good sign. Mm -hmm. Do they have music videos on MTV? I don't know if they do or not, man. I think it's just like groups of beautiful young people that uh, do reality stuff in bikinis. It's just mostly that now. I don't even know if MTV's around. I don't know. Should not be called MTV anymore, though. I don't want my MTV. And y'all taking forever to spawn, yo. So we'll go get these while they will we wait. <clears throat> oh yeah, what is MTV? rough they really make you wait for this one I hear scary sounds what are those scary sounds <coughs> the real world Real world road rules. I feel like they probably are out there cashing in in some way. You know, as long as people still remember it, there's there's definitely a way to cash in on it somehow. So I wouldn't doubt it. I got here at the wrong fucking time, man. Stay away from that guy. I don't know why there's two gold dudes over there. I don't know what they're doing. <laughs> Watching anime on his computer. Sounds like fun. It's a great show. Maybe they spawn further out. Maybe there's more over here.
zero boars over here. Not just any boars, tropical boars, and not just any tropical boars, the only four that spawn right here. So if they're down, man, you gotta wait a long time. Jeez. Get some bristles. My bristles. Done. Uh, I don't. I, I think we have a ways. A while until it's twenty-three minutes until we can get that. So I guess we just move up here. Let's pin this thing. Why can this this not be pinned as well? There we go. Place lighting bombs, and then there's the elite thing, which I'm not sure if we'll be able to do the elite thing. I think they're, I think that guy's gold down there. <clears throat> I'm not our tar. Playing a massively multiplayer online RPG with my friends using TeamSpeak, our tar. I'm not our tar. on in. Thanks, bud. Yeah. Oh. We gotta be getting pretty close to being at the end of this of this area. <clears throat> the quest chains are crazy long in some of these areas. Crazy long. Frost wire. I've, I've, I've never heard of Frostfire. I know I know about LimeWire. I know that there's like hundreds of those things. They really started popping up everywhere after success of Napster. Oh, for God's sakes. Do, 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 do. Salty snail. We gotta we gotta place some lightning bombs up here. You wasted a lot of time, Bernie. Yeah, <laughs> I think we I think we all did. Indeed. We're just so badass. This fucking guy. I'm here to place some lightning bombs. That guy's in the fire. That dog is in the fire. That bird flew right into your head. Oh, lightning unleashed, it says. It's gone now. Oh. So I've never i I've never seen my quest like that before. It's like it's like grayed out. Lightning, the lightning has been unleashed. It's weird. 
Oh, it's back now. It's working again. Ooh, food. <clears throat> it must be when uh, somebody else is doing the quest as well, I guess. And then maybe they all explode because, you know, lightning bombs or whatever. Lightning bombs and some junk. Dunzo. This guy's trying to shoot my ass. Boink. Okay. We gotta head back down to here and then we can take it we can take a little peek. Take a little peek at what's going on down there with that elite, but I don't know, man. I don't know if we'll be able to do it. If it's a silver elite, we could probably swing it. Search for the silver bangles. Search for the Bangles cassette tape. I think they do they do really make it to where it's the perfect amount of quest chains in an area to where at the very end of it you're fucking ready to leave. <laughs> you're ready to get the fuck out of that area. You seen it. You seen that area. You're ready to go, man. I'm gonna get some of this weed. CQ torrents. I remember there being a um, chat program had a whole bunch of different chat rooms. I can't remember. I can't remember which one it was, but I remember spending a lot of time on it in a specific chat room where it was an it was an automated trivia game and it had video game trivia and it kept your high score. And my buddy Justin and I were the top scored people in there. <laughs> That's something to be proud of. Uh, it might have been IRC, yeah. I know I was a part- I was a part of a lot of those. I think everybody was, but... There was like... Somebody created this program, it was thousands and thousands and thousands of questions. Of like, video game knowledge. And there's a lot of people in that, uh, that, that, that room. <clears throat> News groups. Before chat rooms, before chat rooms are just used exclusively for just preying on the weak, <laughs> you know. Those are those are simpler times, I guess. We never felt like we were in danger on the internet. Now we're all in grave, grave danger. I shouldn't even be talking to you right now. 
I, it's weird, Ashishu. It's like in that part of my mind that I use it so much, but it's in that part of my mind that cannot be unlocked. It's in a very shadowy, dark part of my mind that I just can't see what it is, you know? There's some things in my life that I was just so familiar with that I just can't think of the name of or I just can't figure out what it was because my brain has been melted. Sir! Wow, <laughs> this guy's lucky. You got lucky, dude. Jesus! Uh -huh. more chests here. ASL is age, sex, location, the early 2000s lingo. Oh, really? Yeah, because I never, I didn't really chat directly with anybody else unless it was like my friends, like ICQ or whatever. So everybody knew my sex and location that I talked to. I mean, I was a nerd, dude. I was a nerd. I was just a skateboard, skateboarder, video game playing nerd. That I didn't really want to talk to anybody that I didn't know. <laughs> Wasn't big on meeting new people. Oh well, yeah, I was a nerd because nowadays to be to be called a nerd is cool. Like that's cool, and I'm definitely not cool. So I guess I'm not a nerd anymore. <laughs> I'm not a cool guy. Jeez. Yes. Hold on, I got to get to a place where I'm not going to die. I'm not going to be murdered. Where can I go where I'm not going to get killed? Over here, maybe? Let's grab this really quick. Sarah does need me, but I have to get to a place where I'm not going to be killed. Or else it's going gonna, it's gonna to set us back quite a ways. How do I get to a place where I'm not going to dead? I guess we'll just try here. Hopefully I don't get murdered. Okay. <clears throat> uh, all right, that's music. I'll be right back, guys. Stick around. Plenty more of this coming up. I'll be right with you. Let's see if I could log out. Fifty-three seconds. I'll be in the world. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna sit. I'll be right back, guys. Stick around.
Sarah's pumping right now. I gotta watch after the little one for just a few minutes.
All right, so sorry about that. Had to, sorry, I had to pump and all that stuff. So I had to wait. It's about 15, 20 minutes for her to get that done. So I had to you know, watch the kid, make sure he's not fussing, make sure he's not driving her crazy. Okay. Thank you, Shishu. <laughs> Couple more chests in here. Thank you, Guan. He's being a real son of a gun, that Jack today. He's driving her crazy. Check this one. Nothing in there. Nothing at all. Oh. I think we might need to go. Maybe out here. Maybe out further towards the water. Chester Rooney's around here. Maybe on the dock. Oh, there we go. All right, we got one more after this. And then uh, I guess we can go check out that elite quest and just see if uh, if it's doable for us. Might not be. Just down there. Is out of your fish? Oh, here we go. This is it. This is it. All right, let's head over. Let's go see if this thing is even doable for us. And if not, maybe there is. Maybe there's some people over there. The, 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 earlier, there was people over there killing that guy. So we might get lucky. It's the same guy I'm thinking about. If you're able to play this game with a gamepad, 
trying to figure out a way for Sarah to play this game on the couch. Hook it up to the big screen with her laptop. I wonder if it's doable with a game pad. It'd be easier for her. Easier to set up. Let's give it a look-see. Communications, gameplay, looks like these key bindings. Nothing, nothing about game pads in there. Swain Benjamin. I feel like that's the guy. Uh, the big dude in the middle. Oh, yeah. Boat Swain Benjamin. There he is. Looks like somebody had just killed him, too. screaming he's level 34 gold so we definitely need a helping hand with this guy somebody over there he's level 34 That might be a little bit rough, dude. He's got a cold aura. Yeah, we definitely. I mean, he's gold, so all all golds that are like around my level, I need I need help with them. They're pretty beefy. I was just hoping that there might be a couple of high levels here. Last time we were here, there was like a couple of level fifties killing him. He just died too. Like he just just died. So we missed it. We missed it just by that much. Somebody coming over here and killing him. So this might be one of those missions where I just have to come back when I'm like 55, just solo him or something. It's not like we can just come down here we'll just whenever and just see if somebody's around because this this is like a long ways away. This is like we're fucking way out here. Yeah, it doesn't look like anybody's here. <laughs> So we have this guy, and we also have the the bear, the big bear that we're going to have to come back and just kill him when we're max level or something, just come back and solo him. Cut those keys. All right, I don't see, I don't see anybody coming down here, so we'll have to just... <clears throat> have to just head out of here. God damn it. Just did a mission in Far Cry 6, 56 minutes to do and 72 headshots. Damn. Oh, God damn. Let's 
get up out of here. Well, we'll have to come back when we're super, super over leveled for this and just solo him, I guess. I think I would be way too much of a pain in the ass right now. If he was more centrally located, it would be easy to just head back there every once in a while, but he's, they are all he's in really far it. away. Super, super far away, man. Much of the suffering in this settlement is brought on by the foolish actions of those who settled here. Oh yeah, oh those are all right next to each other, that's nice. That's gonna be easy. We just have to turn this guy in. Six strength, twelve focus. Yeah. That is good. Salvage, dude. 16 constitution jewelry. I can't equip that in yet. Oh, it's level 40, dude. It's jewelry. 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 Sweet. Okay, so we'll replace that. 16 constitution. Reduce active cooldowns 1.4% after being hit five times. Okay. Oh, the leather working stuff. That's right. Tanner. And we'll see. Let me, let me drop on in. Let me drop on into this uh, trading post and just see how much those things are really going for, at least here. Tanner. Just search for Tanner. Whatever. No one's selling Tanner hats here. Maybe I will. I'll just put. The, I'll just plop it. Plop it away for now, and then we'll see. We'll see about maybe trying to sell it or something. I can see getting a full set of that stuff being pretty useful if you're doing some uh, leather working. At a dino park. Okay, I'm gonna hold that on. Hold, hold, hold on to that uh, in in the uh, in the inventory for now. I guess because I don't want to forget it. I'm gonna forget it once I leave here. It's level four T. Oh, we're filling up, dude. It's pretty much full. That is fold up. Fifteen flint. Probably could just bought that. That's okay. No more of those. Weak health potions. We need linens. Outfitting. Let's make a couple of linies. <clears throat> Gus, my man. Gus of the 57, man. Thank you very much. Satin. Thank you very much, man. With the tier three. Damn, tier three, 57 months. Thank you, brother. Having a great time. Dude. Having a good time, man. I've also been playing a little bit of um, Diablo 2 Resurrected, my magic find Sork. I have yet to level up my Paladin, who's going to be my, my main on there. <clears throat> Let's go turn this thing in. Yeah, it's been a lot of fun. It's been a lot of fun going back to the OG Diablo 2. Uh, 
Probably Boatswain, unpin that for now. Yeah, I guess. I, pr I pretty much got it so that I could play with uh, community members, you know, like, it's hard to convince people to go back to an old game, but when an old game is a new game, then it's easy to, it's easy to get people to play, you know? Yeah, Project D2 was a lot of fun. I did have a lot of fun playing that. <laughs> Thinking about ditching WoW Classic for New World. Oh, yeah? Yeah, this is a lot of fun, man. It is a ton of fun. It's very addicting. Uh, no, I'm really, I'm really surprised, Shishu. I'm, I'm super surprised that, uh, not more, I think, I think this whole, um, Blizzard thing, uh, discouraged a lot of people from getting it, I guess. I don't know. Because there's a lot of people that were like, yeah, for sure, I'll play. And, uh, they just, I guess they just never got it. Oh, really, Gus? Oh, no. That's not a good feeling. That's not a good feeling, dude. And you can't really pug it, can you? Because there's not like a... There's not like a um, raid finder or anything in, in the classic. Yeah, she should, right? And all, yeah, for sure. I'd be, I'd be down to, to roll out. Yeah, to each their own. I mean, if you want to, I mean, if that, it, it's, it's it's what you believe in. I just, I, I'm, I guess I just kind of play, I play a game whenever I want to play it. I, I don't really look into the politics of it. Because there's like a couple of uh, pieces of shit. Because there's pieces of shit everywhere. Like, uh, like I said before, like somebody at Nintendo could be like a mass rapist murderer. He just hasn't been caught yet. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. But I'll, I'll, I'm definitely going to play the, the new Metroid. I definitely will. <clears throat> 25 man's tough to pug. We move to more active server and anyone we pug with dro just drops after two wipes and never comes back. Yeah, that sucks, man. That's the thing. Is that uh, pugs, they just don't have the longevity. Like, you need to, you need to just, you're not going to get it on the first try kind of thing. And people just drop out, and then it, and then it screws everybody. Yeah, no matter where you go, who you work for, what company it is, there's going to be real pieces of shit everywhere. All right, so... Um, that, my friends, is where we're going to need to call it. I need to... Uh, Go take care of the child. The child is being a real turd today. Not uh, giving Sarah any moments of respite. So I'm going to go and relieve her and make dinner. Make sure she's doing okay. Repair all this stuff really quick. Wow, we're almost at 10,000. You know, make. You do make a lot of money doing all these subquests, though. We're almost back up to ten thousand. I've actually bought quite a few things to to craft with. <clears throat> yeah, Gus, thank you very much for hitting that button, man. Thanks for coming on through. It's always good to see you, dude. Um, but yeah, I got to uh, I got to take care of my daddly duties. I got to make sure everything's good to go out there. Take care of some stuff. <coughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. But thank you very much, guys, for being here. Thanks for supporting me uh, when Twitch is such a huge place and a lot of people are playing this game. I'm glad that you guys come by and hang out while I get uh, a little bit of time away from the child. 
a, a moment to breathe and, and play some games and hang out with you guys. It's been a lot of fun. Um, lots more streams coming up, and then also there's going to be some scary games. Uh, as we get closer to Halloween, we're going to uh, put a pin in New World for a while, and we're going to be playing some single-player spooky games. Anything ranging from old school stuff, Dreamcast stuff, all the way to some brand new stuff, so a couple of stinkers, and then also a couple that look really, really good. I'm not going to give anything away, but it's going to be like a solid, at least a week of um, of spooky, spooky stuff. We're going to be knocking out some some uh, some games. So thank you very much, guys. I gotta go. <sighs> go on. We'll see you later, Black Wolf, Shishu, Gus. Always good to see you, Nolly, Jolly Green. Thank you very much, guys. I got to get out of here. I'll see you soon, everybody. Goodbye. McMoonbeam, we'll see you, man. <laughs>